Okay, Matt, um, I have a Hinkle's free door razor here. This is good hard. It's stainless. It's very hard steel. And I'm going to, this is the stone we've been talking about. It's not gamma. I'm going to set the bevel on this number 600 DMT. These are uh, nice little plates for light work. And the steel feels good under on that stone because you get such a positive contact. So here's my microscope and I'll put the uh, Hinkle's blade in here. And this is what the scratch pattern looks like uh, from that DMT. These are very long, regular, sharp scratches all along the blade. And if I scroll down towards the base of the bevel, you can see the scratches begin all the way down here. So this is what you call a perfectly set bevel where the scratches lead all the way to the edge. So you have a very flat plane there to build your razor edge on. Okay, so I'm going to take that razor and here's an Akiyama. My technique here is to raise a slurry using a diamond plate and we're going to try to limit our area to, to right here so we don't disturb the stamps of this stone. And this is, requires a certain amount of skill to work in such a small area, but you saw the scratch pattern um, from the DMT. And we're going to use this little area here. You can see the change in the color of the slurry. Is a super fast cutting stone. I'm using this much like I would a handheld stone. Um, this is a bench stone in a bench stone holder. So when you start to use the full length of the and width of the stone, everything becomes much easier. So I'm just going to finish off edge here with straight on strokes. So now we're going to look at the edge back in the microscope. Okay, so we're, what we're trying to illustrate here is the cutting speed and the fineness of the Nakayama. Here's what the edge looks like. You can see what is, could have been a scratch there from the DMT, which is really more just like a shadow now. But the edge has become nicely refined and there's a good overall, what they call Kasumi or hazy type finish on the razor. So the next thing we're going to do, and this um, is another proof of the quality of the stone, 
is I do have a, a strop here. And I'm going to use a little bit of linen. This is, it's not a pasted strop. There's no added uh, grit or anything to this strop. This is a interesting strop. I've been using it for quite a few years. And it's marked Shell Horsehide, price $3.50. Uh, from the price, and down here it says um, number 63, uh, Brooklyn, New York. I think that's probably the retail. Anyhow, it's just a, a good old fashioned uh, top frame straw. Now, I believe that this razor will give us some hanging hair test results, but for actual shaving, you might want to refine the edge more. For instance, go back to the stone one more time uh, and do some lighter white strokes or some strokes with clear water, for instance. But um, as it is, I'm illustrating the cutting power of the stone as much as anything. I have a piece of hair here. And that just laid down. Let me turn on the light here. Um, that didn't quite cut that hair there. We did have that one piece. I think because of the limited real estate on that stone that I'm using, we're not getting the free flowing kind of HHTs that I would like, but uh, this does indicate that this stone would be fine enough to hone a razor. And let me see if I can just refine this edge just a little bit more, just add some water. And I'll do some lighter strokes. Also stropping, a little bit extra stropping. Notice I'm only doing this part of the razor because I don't want to infringe on those stamps. about 20 strokes or whatever and here's my hair sample again still not getting the HHTs I'm, I'm looking for That was better. I turned the hair around. This is um, root in. I was using root out before, but um, with the root in, it's getting a better cut here. Uh, ideally, uh, you can get HHT root in or out, but um, I mean, here I'll hold the hair about an inch away from the razor and and get a cut there. So so that's just one example. Um, there are ways to uh, to use a stone so you can get a little bit better results. I'm not a, a real expert at honing, but I'm just demonstrating the qualities of the stone.